Hello, hi, and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asik Amura. Now, the Minister of Health, Dr. Zulum Kize, says that the National Health Insurance Bill will soon be sent to Parliament and will become law sooner than we think. Now, the Minister defines NHI as a health financing system uh, that is designed to pull funds together and use the funds to actively purchase health services for the population on principles uh, of solidarity and equity. In essence, the health benefits that you receive will be based on how sick you are and not how much money you have. The objective of the NHI is to provide universal health coverage which is a human right um, so the nhi will provide finance for health care um, it will enter into contracts with private and public hospitals clinics um, specialists as well as private gps for them to provide free health care for all South Africans and legal residents. In order for an institution to be part of the NHI, they'd have to comply with strict standards as set by the Office for Health Standard Compliance. Patients will be required to enter the health system from a primary level, that is in a GP's room or in a clinic, and the NHI will only pay for you to see a specialist if you have been properly referred from the primary level. NHI will be funded by general taxes and employees above a certain income threshold will also make a direct contribution and their employers will match that contribution. However, this contribution will be lower than medical scheme tariffs. So literally the more you earn, the more you pay and uh, the NHI will be collected and submitted pretty much like UIF. In 2011, former Minister of Health Dr. Aaron Mutualedi said that the NHI project will take a good 14 years to implement. Um, he said that the first five years would be focused on preparation and building. He further said that the NHI project as a whole will not succeed if we do not, number one, uh, improve the healthcare services as provided by public hospitals and also tackle uh, the pricing of healthcare in the private sector. The NHI is absolutely compulsory. But however, you still have the option of having a medical aid and paying for your health care privately. However, then you would pay twice. So you would do this simultaneously. Pay for NHI and have a medical aid. We have really great doctors in South Africa quality doctors okay some of the best in the world the first heart transplant was performed in south africa um the only issue is that most of these doctors are in the private sector and therefore there is a shortage in the public sector um so you find a case of overcrowding in the public sector and the nurses are very rude <laughs> they are very, very incredibly rude, okay? And you've got the system, which I'm shocked that will be part of the NHI, where you need to go to a clinic and be referred to a hospital. So you can't just waltz into a hospital and receive treatment. You first need to go to a clinic and then be referred. And that is such a long system because when you get to a clinic, there are long lines. So you can literally die in this process of trying to get to an entire hospital um i think on paper this is a really great idea because universal health care is a real thing and it's important um however my only issue is that i've got two number one um i'm afraid that everyone is gonna flock to the private uh, hospitals and private clinics um and so we're gonna experience overcrowding there and number two my other issue is that politicians are corrupt and so we are going to have a case where the NHI is missing billions and we don't know where the billions of rands went to. So, you know, like pretty much the PIC and ESCOM and SAA and pretty much how most of the institutions are run in this country by our very own politicians. They're corrupt. They cannot be trusted. So, ha. Uh, I'm afraid that we are going to have another case where money is looted. Um, however, I think if this is managed correctly, this could be an amazing initiative. Um, 
and so on paper i do support it but in practice and knowing our politicians and the public health care system as it is today i am wary and very nervous so hmm. <laughs> but we shall see anyways i love you guys it's a talent to serve humanity and i will see you next week goodbye